Welcome on in. Another video here, tip video here, talking about routes, talking about hot routes, talking about this entire new hot route menu we got here. I'm going to do a deep dive into this. So I hope this helps you out. Do not forget to like and subscribe. I've already put out stuff on the new passing mechanics. I put out stuff on the defensive settings. So I've put out a bunch of live stream stuff as well. I'm here to help you make yourself better. So just come on in, like, subscribe, leave a comment of what other videos that might help you. And I'll be happy to explain all of this stuff for you. So today we're just talking hot routes here. I'm going to go through them a little bit quick. Um, so just bear with me here. I'm trying not to make these videos too long, but I want to cover as much information as possible for you. So let's dive right on in. The first thing you need to know um, is in order to do hot routes, you have to hit triangle or Y, and then your menu is going to pop up with the receivers. You're going to select a receiver, and then this menu is going to pop up. Obviously, LS is left stick, RS is right stick, and then you have your buttons down on the bottom, L1, L2, R2, or left bumper if you're on Xbox. So those are your buttons there. Now, you do have to be very cautious when you're doing this, right? Um, so you can't just hot quick. So say I wanted to do like a hitch route with circle. I have hitch there on the bottom. So I hit triangle, circle, and then I would hit R2. And now you can see I have a hitch route there with circle. But if I try to do that quickly with square, you can see he's got a smoke screen. So Depending on if the person is the outside receiver, depending on if the person's the running back, right? If I do triangle, triangle, R2, thinking I want to hitch out of the running back, he's actually now pass blocking. So you have to be very careful in knowing like which receiver, is he inside, is he outside, is he in the backfield, is he the tight end? They're all going to have different hot routes. So let's start on the outside first. We're going to do, we're going to do uh, Mitchell here. He's got square, um, and he, you can do left stick. You can do a fade, which is just run down the sideline. You can do speed out, which is speed out there. You just quick a little out. If you want to do the opposite, you want to do like a speed in. Speed in right there. And if you, this is all left stick. And if you want to do a curl, the difference between a curl and a hitch, you can see here, hitch with circle with short, curl with square is long. So before I go into talking about the right stick, I just want to talk about this custom stem thing right here real quick. Custom stem is one of this new new in, in initiatives, and it's actually really helpful. So in order to use it, you're going to hit triangle or Y, then you're going to hold. You have to hold L1 or LB, and then you're going to choose your receiver that you want to custom stem. And then once I hit square, I'm going to use the D-pad up and down to change how far I want their route to go. So if I wanted to create, say... I wanted them both to run just about next to each other here. You can see now, and then you just let it go, and now you got a nice little short route. So you can create a lot of custom routes that way just by doing custom stem. So that's a new new hot route there. So I'll just recap it again. Triangle or Y, and then you select your receiver, then you hold L1 or left B, and then you just move it up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down on the D-pad, on the D-pad. All right? Now we're going to square again. We'll just talk about the comeback, the comeback L2. That's one of my favorite routes. It's one of the best routes. You're going to run all the way down the field, and you have to throw this after he breaks. If you throw it before he breaks, you're going to throw an interception. So you have to be very careful of that. All right? Now we talk about smoke screen. I already did that one as well, but that's just essentially just a quick screen there if you want just a quick hitter. All right, now let's talk about right stick. Right stick, you got post. That's pretty simple. If you want to do the opposite of post, you want to go to the corner. You'd run a corner route there. Now, just pay attention, right? So like square, these are both corner routes for square and circle. But look, one has a one's running more of a, a smash route where he comes in first. The other one's running a more cleaner co co corner route. So like I said, be very aware of where these players are. Now, if you go back, uh, drag route. So we down on the right stick and drag right across the field. Now slant, it just be a little slant there. This would be a nice little combo here of square and circle, and I'll cover combos in another video of ones that you really like. But this would be a really good combo right there. All right, and then uh, bang eight newer one. It's like kind of a very skinny post. 
So you can see here, this also would be like a scissor, a scissor route that you like. This would be a very good, this is just a very skinny post here. New route, bang eight. It's uh, just like a very skinny post. Um, and then triple option gives the outside receiver ways to go. He can either run the hitch, he can run a post, or he can run a fade route. So he, triple option is he has the option to choose. Deep cross, pretty simple, just deep across the field. Now that's very important. Say you wanted to combo up another deep cross with X. Now they're deep crossing together here. So that's a big one because that's one of the easiest ways to get people open. And then lastly, uh, deep dig. So that's just a big in route, just a longer in route. Um, and if you've never used smart route, if it's a first down is say first and eight, they'll run the route eight yards. If it's first and or four, whatever, first and 15, they'll run the route 15 yards. Smart route means they run the route to the actual distance. Uh, cover the different ones for circle. He has a flat route that is just goes right to the flat. That's different than him. He has a wheel route. Wheel down the sideline. And then circle also has what is on the left D-pad. One of my favorite routes. Uh, he has a zig. So this is a really nice combo where you can use this if you ever combo like a, a short drag. It's really good in the red zone. You can you see here a little short drag with the zig combo. This creates a really nice pick. And then they also have a short cross to match the deep cross. So if you wanted to do double double crosses with square and circle, you can see here now we're creating a nice high low high low crisscross applesauce type ordeal. All right, and then that's pretty much it for different routes when it comes to just remember, like I said, a curl and hitch, same thing, just one is a little bit longer. So there's the curl on the left stick with circle. And then if you hit them on a hitch route, you can see here, it's just a shorter route. And now in the backfield, um, all these routes are going to be different, right? Because they have to leave the backfield. So you can see here, let's hit, uh, let's just put all these guys in routes that won't mess up the, the visuals here. All right. So now you can see, let's put him on a block, triangle. So a triangle, um, we're talking about the running back here. If we wanted him to run a go route, he's now running a streak route. If we wanted him to in, out, all this stuff, you know, it's all just out of a backfield. So you just got to pay attention to that. Very important block and release. You know, he's just blocking and releasing. And then triple option. So, oh, that's a wheel route. Hit the wrong button there. Triple option. He has options to go whatever way he thinks is necessary. So it's really important. A lot of people forget about the running back as an option. Uh, you can really use the running back in a really a lot of really good ways. So I highly recommend. Don't ever forget the running back. Um, just a flat route sometimes, or even just like changing him to pass blocking is really good in case they're blitzing heavy. So. I know uh, a little bit longer than I wanted, but that pretty much covers all the hot routes that there are. I'll cover another video when it comes to combos, but I hope this helped. And um, yeah, check you guys out later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.